Number one, as most of you know, we're taking a break from preaching from the Gospel of Mark, preaching through that series, uh, to focus on a little short series on how to live in trying times. And thus far, we have, <clears throat> excuse me, looked at two weeks ago from the preach from the book of Habakkuk in the Old Testament uh, on how to have hope in a hopeless world. And then last Sunday, we looked at the first two verses of First Peter, talking about how the elect, according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, and we preached a whole message on those two verses, and I encourage you, if you have not heard, listened to that one, to listen to it. It will be certainly an encouragement to you. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the remainder of really that, this particular section. We're going to start in verse 3, uh, but for the sake of context, I want us to read 1 Peter chapter 1. In verse 1 again, it says, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the pilgrims of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, in sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace be multiplied. In our text, found in verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to His abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance.